How's it going out there guys? What's up? It's your boy Jordan Trask back for another video here and the Chargers beat the Texans 34-24 in Houston so we got a revenge game back in time since we're not talking about the loss last year against Houston but now we got the win for a revenge game against the Texans part of the Chargers 34-24 win over Houston so you know what at the end of the day for sure yeah but you know what we did beat the Texans 34-24. Justin Herbert had a good game. Austin Eckler, three touchdown rushing of the year. And Jarrell Everett with the touchdown catch, of course. Yep, good for Jarrell Everett. And Dustin Hopkins had two field goals in a row. Um, I thought we were losing again, but nope, we won. We're now 2-2 two and two now in 500 win column back in time in the percentage. Um, for Justin Herbert and the Chargers, uh, we know that um, now we own the Texans. Horns down and Bolt up, baby. Bolt up. Bolt up. Horns down. Go Chargers. Go Bolts. Bolt up. And horns down. Because we beat the Texans. 34-24. And at the end of the um, at the other game, we ended up talking about beating Houston in 2016. But you know what? At the end of the day, we were better than the Texans because we own Houston. Because we did own them in 2007 and 2004, 20, um, 2010, 2010. Then they own us in 2013. And then in 2016, we own them again. And then 2019 and 2021, they own us twice. But now we own them back in time with our revenge game for the Chargers. Um, Bryce Callahan took a game-winning interception and took a game-winning interception by Bryce Callahan. Derwin James had a good game, but our defense for Khalil Mack, he took a sack on Davis Mills. But you know what? I have so many former Chargers that were on the Texans, including Desmond King. Um, yeah, because... The Chargers absolutely beat the Texans because one of my former Charger players that were on the Texans from last year to this year it was Desmond King. Yeah, I, I love Desmond King because he was my forever Charger, but after he moved on. But you know what? Brandon Staley is better than Lovey Smith because I respect Lovey Smith as I'm a big fan of my favorite Charger coach, Brandon Staley. And you know what? At the end of the day, for the Chargers with the win of 34-24 in H-Town, um, we were putting up more points on it for LA for the Chargers against the Texans. Um, so yeah, Morgan Fox had a sack and a tackle, and yeah, of course it was Santi Samuel Jr., Michael Davis, and Derwin James, J.C. Jackson. Yeah, J.C. Jackson had a good game too with the Chargers, and yeah, so we won without our guy Keen Allen, Joey Bosa, Rashawn Slayer, and Jalen Guyton. But yeah, we had to pick up Richard Rodgers and Michael Banny and John Hightower and Derek Tuska from everywhere else. But you know what? Dark Tuska had a good game, but John Hightower, he was not playing because he was, he was called up by the Chargers with the practice squad. And you know what? At the end of the day, we were going to win without our guy, Keenan Allen, again. But Mike Williams and Jarrell Everett took a good one out there to make more points for the Chargers against the Texans. So, yeah. And honestly, at the end of the day, again, we were going to be Houston again. But, yep, we're now 2-2 two and two and bolt up. Horns down. Let's go, Chargers. We beat the Texans in a revenge game, 2.0. And 1.0, too. Yeah, of course. And, yeah, so Jerry Tillery and Sebastian Joseph Day took many sacks and all the tackles for that reason. So, yeah. So we had to stop against Rex Burkhead, the former Patriot running back and Super Bowl champion against Rex Burkhead. Yeah, so it was um, – one of the Chargers in Texas that were a former Patriot, including J.C. Jackson and Rex Burkhead, of course. So, yeah, J.C. Jackson is better than Rex Burkhead because these two used to be teammates in New England. But now, J.C. Jackson, our newest Charger, and then the other team with the Texans is Rex Burkhead. And you know what? We miss our former Charger, Desmond King, but we miss him a lot. But, yeah, Bryce Callahan's way better than anybody else, except the reason. So, yeah, Lovey Smith was a good coach from the Chicago Bears when he was with Chicago. But yeah, and I have to tell you again, Brandon Staley is better than Lovey Smith for the first time. Just like our Charger coach, Brandon Staley better than their Texans coach, Lovey Smith. And yeah, so before I wrap this up, so I hope we'll go 3-2 and two next week against the Cleveland Browns right after I saw the Browns lost to the Falcons 2023. And yeah, Hope my Chargers go 3-2 and two next week against the Browns and 4-2 against the Denver Broncos and 5-2 and two against Seattle until we get in the bye week. So, yep, Bryce Callahan for the game-winning interception. Then we took one last knee before we took the final play of a defensive stop. So, 
I'm out. It's your boy Jordan Trask. Bolt up, horns down, and let's go Chargers. Two and two, back in the win column with a 34-24 win in Houston. Let's go Chargers. Peace.